Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for your overall energies. Also, I'm going to leave a link up here and in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can just go ahead and book your reading from there. This reading is intended for sun, moon, and rising signs of Cancer. So if you have any of those in your chart, it might resonate with you. And by the way, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. Let's jump into your reading, guys. Let's see what is coming your way. Okay, it seems like you're going to be receiving some good news unexpectedly. Can be a crowd of people coming forward here. Um, what does this crowd mean? Can be, um, this seems like in during maybe, I want to say during like June, July time. Is This can be maybe a celebration, a wedding. Also, uh, graduation, if you are going to school or you're planning to graduate this season and this term, um, maybe like a celebration of your new success at work, the family coming together to celebrate you, congratulate you. But before that, let's see what we have here. Hmm. There's a path opening, and I feel like this path is actually somebody traveling towards you. They are actually halfway here can be someone has been planning this for a while maybe they didn't share it with you it is a light energy though when they show up you're going to be happy you're not going to be upset about their existence they're coming towards you this looks like kind of like a mask here um from like you know if that um phantom of the opera hmm and it is on top of a male figure here. This can be someone who's actually hiding behind somewhere, maybe observing you. Um, can be like if you're working in a competitive environment, the person in a higher position might actually, um, from afar, watching over your progress. And um, you're going to probably receive some news about it because I see a lot of talk happening here, conversations happening. I also see one, two, three people. Three uh, indicates this can be three of cups energy celebration, but I feel like this is not it. This is like three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is actually becoming, creating this perfect team, dream team and getting things done with them. Another thing is getting like being recognized, your hard work, getting recognition for your hard work. Okay. Uh, seems like both of them are going to be aligning and this actually the person observing you are giving you that gift or maybe even putting you together with people and I feel like there's not going to be any conflict or competition between you guys you're going to be a perfect team supporting each other seem like they're all on the same level here and uh, there is even a horse head showing up Horses means wish fulfillment. So at the end of the day, when you actually team up with these people, you're going to create this beautiful thing for yourself. This can be building up your uh, resume, maybe something that you're doing can be just adding up to your skills. This can be maybe building a part of your house or just, you know, working on a project together. This doesn't even have to be related to any of the things you usually do um maybe coming together with friends and designing something together to put out there you know getting um financing for that kind of things because there's actually kickstarter com campaigns and stuff i don't know if they still do that but there was a time that people usually you know get um kickstarter create these kickstarter campaigns in order to get financing for their good ideas and there are some things actually launched from that support that is coming forward i see there is a person standing right under the horse so there can be someone there's one observer here powerful observer and there's another person a powerful investor they're both showing up at the same time the powerful the 
observer and investor can also be um, the grants, uh, scholarships, and uh, maybe like governmental support, the things that are institutions giving you support, okay? It doesn't have to be specifically one single person. And most of the things are actually like grants and uh, scholarships and those kind of stuffs are really out there. They need to be researched, they need preparation, application, and um, when you actually follow the rules to the T, it is not that hard to get all of those things in most cases, in most cases, not like 100% of them. There's an eye here. Like I was trying to see if this is like an evil eye or like a little bump here, but it seems like an eye. So this is a, in this case, if you're developing something, it is a good thing. I even see here, Rudolf. Is that the Rudolf the reindeer? There's like a, with the red um, nose here. So like some sort of like a celebration for sure coming forward when you receive this thing, when you receive this help. And, but the thing is, you're also going to receive some like um, jealousy, maybe a little bit like too much of an admiration. Your hard work paying off will actually inspire people, may even get a lot of attention from a lot of people, which is not a bad thing. Um, but this might cause you to have this energy leakage, energy drain. The evil eye actually means most of the time it is, that's what it means. Um, like it is actually, this can even be coming from someone you love, who loves you a lot, that the intense energy can actually create a hole in your aura and an energy drainage. And there are many, many, many ways to actually get rid of that evil eye. You can look it online and just clean up your energy field. I see a letter E here. There's a fish head. You're seeing the fish from above, meaning E can be the person who's bringing this opportunity. Fish means plenty, having plenty of everything. So um, this plenty of opportunities might be introduced to you by a person I see here. Letter E can be like Eric, Elmer, Erica can be their first name or the last name. Helen, Emily. We have the number three. Number three means positivity, creation, creativity, and communication. And I see there's a male figure on top of your head. This can be someone being the bridge for you to actually like uh, express this creativity when the time comes. There's a legal paper here. I see a wolf on there. There's another person, a tulip, a cup. You can get, the wolf usually symbolizes families because they travel in packs. The wolf packs are families. And this can be someone from a family, an offer coming forward for you, the legal opportunity that is supporting your what you do. Or this can be um, like someone close to you in your family. Okay, uh, giving you a support and the cup on top of it is they're going to be coming with an offer. The offer is going to be emotionally fulfilling you. It is going to be actually maybe taking a lot of the weight off your shoulders, um, but it is up in the air. So it really depends on your serious consideration, maybe even like developing strategy, how to navigate this thing. Okay. I don't see anybody surrounding you. This can be on you initially that you actually contemplating. Right after that, though, I see a feminine figure with a child next to her. I see a letter A on the child's name. Number seven is visible, which is knowledge and strategy again. So um, this can be the, the responsibility that you're taking on, like a mother is taking care of their ch child in a protective and nurturing matter. This can be this responsibility you're taking on regarding this challenge, regarding this project that you have in your hand and maybe developing it, growing it, like raising a child one by one. I even see a hound here. You can see the nose of the hound, the ears, the eye, the mouth. The hound is not a negative thing. Hound means that you're going to have this, like they have this uh, attitude of play, first of all, and also massive action. Hounds are like kind of like hyper dogs, most of them. So you're going to take that attitude when it comes to that and just, you know, this will help the process to actually complete faster. And even you're planting a tree of life here, which is going to, uh, you're going to collect the fruits of your hard labor much faster than you are actually contemplating, okay? 
I see a number five, which means travel. There's a bird flying. Maybe you're sending some news to someone with a, the, maybe someone that you have commitment with. A ring is showing here or you're planning to have commitment with. Now I see here, this is actually like, I saw initially, this is the head. These are the wings of a bird. But now I'm looking at it from another angle. This seems like a water here, a dolphin, the, the nose of the dolphin, the, the fins jumping into the water dolphins symbolize joy okay joyfulness playfulness the intelligence and also communications because they have a very good communication skills um so after the fact after you complete this mission you can actually create this maybe this mission is the, the purpose of the mission is creating this fun and joyful environment for yourself to grow this can be um, a new home environment that you're creating, a family environment, also uh, something that is going to be uh, financially um, putting you in a very secure place. And also, it's not going to be only like boring financially. It's going to be also fun, something fun. You enjoy doing this thing, okay? I see again here, there are two people. There's a man with a hat showing up here. And looking at the belly of this woman, and there's another person behind this woman, and there are two holes, maybe two rings connecting these people. This can be you actually introducing something to a couple, maybe developing something like related to a couple. I see number two here. This actually indicates partnerships. Or this couple can be a partnership offer that you're going to be serving them, like you're going to be actually offering them something. Mm -hmm. or maybe partnering up with them this can be family members there's a crowd right under them maybe you're going to go <clears throat> celebrate something that uh, <clears throat> excuse me that they are actually having maybe they're having a baby starting something new and you're going to be a part of that celebration Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be. Okay, whatever it is, it is coming really fast. However, this dark um, thing here is actually telling me you don't really think this is possible, okay? That's why um, delays might be happening. I have a V as in victory, number two again presented. Number two symbolizes partnership again, but you see how fast it's coming your way. It's not taking that long, but it is maybe you are not even see the progress. You're not seeing the progress because it's happening behind closed doors. That's why you might be feeling stressful. Um, I see there's a W here and I see a person's face, a male figure and a female figure. Again, a couple. This couple can also represent your um, masculine and feminine energies, your creativity on top of your creativity, your um, inspired action taking and completing a mission. I see here there is a person just lifting their hands up in the air and just celebrating something. There's a W here, a male and female person like people observing them. So it is the victory time. It is coming forward for you and you're going to be celebrating, but you don't see it coming. Okay. You don't see it coming, not because it's not coming. It's not like somebody else maybe can see that you're going to be very successful, but maybe you are really like very focused on the goal, like on what's in front of you rather than at the end result. That's why you're not really observing what's coming forward. Okay. I see there's a star forming here. Star can be Aquarius energy. Aquarius can be a person showing up and giving you a help that you need. Air energy. This person can be someone very good with communication. Handling the communication side of the things for you. Or a star in tarot indicates wish fulfillment. Your desires actually aligning with you. Starting a new day. And, um, you know, again, of course, in the regular like tarot, you see the, the woman is pouring water. So it can symbolize emotion. Water is emotions. And your emotions are actually like being in the right place as well. You're feeling um, right on the money, okay? Let's get to it. Let's see what the tarot says for you. Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. 
you're walking away from something that you you see that she aligned the cups she filled the cups now like you completed a mission something in your hand now you might be because she's wearing the black dress feeling a little nostalgic you a little sad because this has come to an end now but you can see like how many moons on the sky one two three four five moons in, on the sky so there is a ba better path in front of you there is another upgrade okay this is not an ending this is an upgrade okay so you actually completed this whatever it is in your life now you are going for another one another path is opening in front of you it's like moving to a new house when you're moving even though it's like the bigger and better place if you spend time and you have memories in that place that you put energy in you feel that sadness nostalgia okay and this is something like that because you see the cups are full meaning you actually finished your mission i have the empress coming here the empress is libra and taurus energy this can be like a very feminine character showing up with uh, creativity also power and uh, they are they take initiative they move forward this can be you actually embodying this energy as well when you set off to the new road you don't stop you don't actually um, even though you're feeling a little upset about the things coming to an end you're moving forward you're not going to be stopping and you're going to be keep doing you and your um you know illuminating being uh, lighting up the environments that you're stepping in also doing whatever is necessary this might actually put you in a moment like a crossroads a moment of decision two of swords here that is indicative of you making a decision here and the decision can be about like putting something with the death card here and end okay this is not a negative end this is actually death of establishment establishment in the sense of whatever that you have been doing since today is actually um maybe there are flaws in in it maybe you don't have an action plan you're just doing intuitively which is intuitive is a good thing however uh, this is actually throwing you off balance because you don't have a to-do list or whatever it is in front of you and you are changing that establishment okay it's not like um absolutely killing something it is actually you're creating a better establishment a better setup for yourself this might include with a judgment here i have a coffee coffee here this might include that actually reassessing what happened forgiving yourself and others that didn't really comply with the situation or the seeing the lessons that you have learned from this this is the judgment day this is the calling and finding your true calling rather than just being stuck in the past because this is a new life for you and also death card indicates that you are ending something so you can something build much more powerful for yourself in the meantime we have the hanged man you might have and a revelation and understanding of things maybe new ways of uh, you can find new ways of doing things new ways of upgrading yourself or even the situation in your hand or a relationship this can be about a relationship too and in the meantime maybe you're going to take a pause uh, you're not going to take action and and the situation like um there you go. You're not going to take action and reassess what happened. We have with the Ten of Swords here. Um, you can see she's resting. And there's actually, uh, she's holding the wand right there. She's resting right there. And the sun is shining on the background. So this ending is, can be a little bit melodramatic on your end, on the other's end. Maybe you are ending a partnership that doesn't work anymore. You are ending a relationship or a situation in your life that doesn't work anymore. However, this is actually bringing massive strength in a very short period of time. Another thing with this uh, energy is she's you see the sun is shining on the background this is actually your new day in a better and bigger way okay you can see how big is the sun is here in the judgment it's a small sun but here we have a massive sun shining from the behind not even behind the clouds clouds right in front of you is actually going to be even though things go in a certain way it is meant to be your for your highest good okay I have here the strength and the chariot coming forward for you. So this situation will actually 
um, help you leave what doesn't serve you behind truly very fast. And the strength card indicates that this will help you find your true strength and true power, and maybe even tr the, the environment, the people, the situations that you belong to, that you feel more stronger, that you can create better, okay? Leo is actually about self-love, self-nurturing, loving your life, and just even the things coming in a way that you love yourself more than ever this time, okay? Okay, we had a victim here. Wow, what's happening? With the green chakra, this is your heart chakra, okay? This is where your heart is located. Let's see what the, the inspiration is for this one. The green acorn indicates that being in denial may be holding you back. Hmm. Okay, the moment of decision can be that maybe you're facing a decision about a person, about a situation that you're not making the decision. The more you delay the decision, it is actually taking longer for you to, you know, end the situation and upgrade to another level, okay? Uh, to move forward, you must make an honest assessment of your situation the, 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 here with the hanged man. Personal inquiry here dictates, how are my actions connected to my inability to create breakthroughs? Am I willing to make new choices in order to grow? And the key ideas here can be feeling blocked, blaming others, past resentment, deluding yourself, and potential for greatness. You have the potential for greatness with a strength here, but the judgment has to, judgment day has to come that you have to forgive and let go. Forgive doesn't mean that, okay, I forgive you, go ahead, come back, do the same things again. Forgiveness means letting go of the situation, the person, out of your energy field completely, okay? Means that they don't, their actions do not really affect you anymore. They can't touch you. You have this protective shield around you. That's what the forgiveness means. And the keywords here are growth, breakthrough, breakthrough and empowerment, well, that's very beautiful, actually. You're getting over something that didn't really satisfy you. And you are walking towards something with strength and determination that will actually be something much better for you, okay? All right, now, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.